Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be playing a game called Missed Messages. I heard a little bit about this game, not too much, but I am familiar with a game they've made prior to this game called You Left Me, which I know this game deals with a lot of like mental health. So I'm thinking, you know, just try some different, just calm myself down from all the games that I have been playing recently. I just finished Little Nightmare, so if you haven't watched that already, I'll leave that up there for you to watch. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow all my social media links down below. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. Oh, and by the way, I have to mute the music because apparently some of the music in here is copyrighted. So I hope y'all don't mind. I have to look out for my channel, you know. Again, trigger warning. There are mentions of suicide and self-harm in this game. Well, you heard it here first. Perfect for staying inside and finishing my work. 1.09 p.m. Laptop. What else you got in here? Ooh, tea. Flags. Books. Plants. Yeah. Backpack. Are we in a dorm room or something? Papers. Outer door. Ugh, I need to work. But I'm so bored, I can't focus. Goth, go. Oh. Hold on, wait a minute. What's this? Should I, should I accept it? Work or accept? Goth girlfriend's iPhone wants to send you a note. Hmm, might as well. So cute. <laughs> what the dog doing? <laughs> Let me stop. Send me back, send note back, go back to work. Let's send one back. I wonder if she'll respond. Oh, <laughs> thank you for dog. Hmm, that's cute. So what's this? Work stuff? Oh, hold on. I want to send you a note. Let's see. Okay, you're welcome. So, Pastel Princess's MacBook Pro. What are you up to? Existential crisis. Working but can't focus. Go back to work. Working. I'm working but can't focus. Another note. Oh no, I feel that. I hope I'm not distracting you. I also can't focus and procrastinating with makeup right now. You're not distracting. Let's see the makeup. Go back to work. Hmm. Let's see the makeup. Thank you. You're sweet. Let's see the makeup. I'm sure you worked hard on it. Let's see it. Tell me I'm beautiful, mother. You're the cutest. Highly skilled. You're the cutest. Here <laughs> they will be flirting. Send me another note. OMG, no you. You're so cute. Go out with me. Why the hell not? <laughs> yes, want to meet me later tonight outside my room 206? Yes, okay. Yes, I'll see you. Oh, they're already meeting up that fast? Y'all fast. Y'all better than me. <laughs> so what do we do? Go back to work or leave? Later that night, I went out to meet goth girlfriend. Before I left, my roommate opened the door. Oh, okay, so it's 7.57 p.m. right now. Okay, she says, you're leaving? Well, when will you get back? Probably after 9. Oh. Why? Yeah, why? Um, no reason. Okay. Bye then. Wait. Um, before the day ends, happy birthday. You remember? No one else remembered. I didn't even remember. Of course I remembered. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. for me, sweetly. You. Happy birthday. Thank you. No, thank you for being my friend. What do you mean? What? Why are you telling me this? I just thought life is so short. Why not express my appreciation for the person I care about? In that case, you're also an amazing friend. Thank you for being my friend too. Aww. Haha, <laughs> I'll see you later. Goodbye. I met up with goth girlfriend. She told me her name was Amy. We walked to the roof. I laid out a blanket and watched the stars. That must be so nice just 
to do that with just anybody in general, you know? Why I look so dark in here? I don't know. Let time pass, sky arts. The sky is gorgeous tonight. I know, right? I'm forever that girl that gets really excited when the sky is in pretty colors. What do you think of when you look at the sky? A whole lot. Nothing for once, only a feeling. Damn. Nothing? You know when your mind is constantly noisy? I look at the sky and realize it's so much bigger than me. My problems mean nothing compared to it, and my mind's quiet. It's so poetic. It really is. Let time pass, arts, or airdrops. Let's talk about art. So you're into makeup? Hell yeah, I am. God, can you imagine being so powerful you can transform to different people? Because I can. God is a woman. All right, then. Let time pass, expensive makeup artist. Have you thought about being a makeup artist? You think I'm that talented? You're sweet. God, that'd be amazing. The competition is fierce, though. I'll just stick with it as a hobby. That's fair. Hey, there are... If you ever need someone to practice on, I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> You're a beautiful canvas. I'll definitely take you up on that. Let time pass. Airdrops are expensive. Who are airdrops? So how many strangers did you airdrop besides me? Everyone that showed up. <laughs> Maybe five. Did you meet all of them? Nah, only you. I'm the only one? You were also the only one to send something back. <laughs> hmm, so all them people, and I'm the only one? Why do I feel like this is a setup? I don't know. Let time pass. Why did you reply? Why did you reply? I said apply. <laughs> I don't know, bored. Wanted to meet people? Meet people. Yeah. I have a lot of friends, but I want more, especially close ones. Don't you have enough right now? Well, I used to have close friends, but we grew apart. I feel you. It's always sad when someone you shared close personal moments with grows distant. True. Yeah. It's left a void in my heart, you know, and I try to fill it by meeting new people, talking, dating, sleeping around. Whoa. But no matter how many people I meet, I'm still lonely. Feeling the void. Um, feeling the void. Is that what you're doing right now? Trying to fill the void with me? Maybe. Yeah. Close friends who you can trust anytime, anywhere are the best. But there's going to be times where you have none. During those times, I try to improve myself and learn to love the version of me that is now alone. Huh. Learning to love yourself is hard. Preach. Preach. Let time pass. As the sky darkened, I grew addicted to Amy's smile. Okay. It's getting late. We should head back. Aw. You're cute. Goodbye, kiss. Girl, I don't know you like that. I don't know where your lips been. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. You're the cutest. I bet it would have been better with music. Too bad I had to mute it. No, you. <laughs> See you later. See you. I had to turn my phone off to save battery. On my way back home, I checked my phone. May, May, Mom. You're a great friend. It's not your fault. I'm scared. Wait, what? Hey, sweetie, how was your day? What's going on? When I came back home, I felt cold, nervous, but I didn't know why. Oh, Lord. I'm scared. Oh, oh my God. Where can I go? Can I hide somewhere? Door. I'm sure going to roommate. I read the note. Don't come in. Call the police. They'll know what to do. Love, May. Don't come in the room. 
Oh my god, don't tell me something bad happened to this girl. Don't come in, call the police, don't know what to do, love me. Don't come in the room. Call the police, open the door. But should I call the police? Damn, what do I do? Oh god. Should I open the door? Let me open the door. If anything pops on, I'm turning the The door felt heavier than usual. Oh god. As I opened the door, <gasps> I saw the body hanging. Oh my god. Okay, so apparently I looked it up. There's more than just one ending. There's four, I think. And we got in the forgiven ending. But I want to find out what ha what happened. Like, what led up to this moment? I want to find out. A heavy blizzard stretched on for miles. In the distance, I saw a figure. May? It's not safe here. May? Is that you? Come back. She just smiled, looking content amidst the dangerous hail. As if she was going somewhere better. As if she hadn't heard my voice lost in the blizzard. Don't go. Please, don't go alone. She disappeared into the snow. I missed my chance. Oh. So we got another chance. I wake up in a cold sweat. Fearful and... Fearful, but not sure why. What was that about? Never mind that. I should start working. Oh, so we got another chance. That's good. Okay, so what now? Can we go to the door? My roommate's door. Yeah, no, but... It's used to keep it open. Now it's usually closed. I remember that dream I had. Oh, well. I was hoping we could be able to go over to the, go over to the door. Tea is the best drink. Cheap, caffeinated, and tasty. Nothing says I'm gay, but that's also kind of what I'm saying. <laughs> books. Love my books. There's How to Raise a Plant, Piracy of Dummies, I mean, Piracy of Poor Dummies, and my favorite, Memes to Movements. Ooh. I'm serving looks today. I know that's right. The I just woke up look. <laughs> we can't go in there. The door to the outside world. Bathroom. Let's go to the bathroom. I do what I gotta do, then go back. Okay, so nobody's in the bathroom. So do we just go back to, go back to work? Ugh, I need to work. But I'm so bored. I can't focus. What's this? Should I accept it? Let's ignore it this time and see what happens. I spent 30 minutes trying to understand, but ultimately ended up confused. Why am I a fool, a hooligan, an oaf with a PhD in buffoonery? Ha! What is all this? This is all gibberish to me. Let's go to work. I attempted to focus back on my work and succeed for some time. I began to lose focus again. That's weird. I hear voices. Seems like they're coming from my roommate's room. Let's go find out. The door of my roommate, May. I wonder if I should check up on her. Yeah, let's check on her. I hesitated, then not. For some reason, I feared what I might find. Hello? <coughs> yes? Um, shit. What should I say? Looking for Sog, hang out, you okay? I just want to make sure you're okay. I heard noises from your room earlier. Aw, thank you. I'm fine. Um, well, I'm kind of sad, but don't worry about me. 
Do you want to hang out with me in case you don't want to be alone? I like that. But I have work to do. Take a break. Never mind. Take a break, girl. You always have work to do. Did you take a break? Besides, we shouldn't have... Besides, we haven't hung out for a while. I miss you. Aw, I could use a break too, to be honest. And I miss you too. Okay, hold on a sec. She went back to her room to get something. She came back and laid on my bed, looking out at the setting sun. Oh wow, this is even prettier. I'm glad I stayed with her. Stuffy life sky. So I'm thinking, if I would have chose to go out with goth girlfriend, that's when she does what she did. And it seems like the person she was on her phone with was clearly her mom, speaking in a language I don't know. I think she said Chinese, I think. And I'm assuming by the phone call that her mom was not happy about something. Maybe it had to do something with her schoolwork, that she's not up to par. I don't know. She's putting so much pressure on her child. Where really she just she just where really she should just be focusing on her child and let her child do what's best for her. I don't know. This is getting this is getting tough. Okay, stuffy life sky. Let's ask about life. So what are you up to these days? I feel like we haven't caught up on a I feel like we haven't caught up in a long time. Um, a lot. And also not much. A lot? Ah, sorry I haven't stayed up to date. Haha, <laughs> stay updated. Like your favorite TV show. Don't worry about it. I just feel like I don't make enough time for you. Oh, that's okay. You're not obligated to. Oh, yeah, it's your birthday, right? Haha, <laughs> I forgot you remembered. Of course I did. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, thank you for remembering. As the years flew by, my birthday became like any other day. And no one else had remembered it either, but she had. Stare outside, how are you, dream? How are you? So how, so how have you been? Fine, just tired. Big mood, how so? I don't know, like a bone deep tiredness? Day after day? Dream depressed, what do you mean? What do you mean? Like... Every day I wake up, force myself to do something I don't like, and go back to sleep. Sometimes I look outside my window and see a whole world out there. And I feel the struggle of being stuck inside all day. Hmm. I understand. Things you enjoy, dream. Things you enjoy. It's cliche, but... Why not do what you love? It's not that easy. If I knew what I loved doing, I'd be doing it by now. But I don't know what I want to do. You like nothing? I'll help you. Is that constant? I'll offer to help. I'll help you. We'll figure this out. I'll try out every hobby and profession with you if that's what it takes. Thank you. Why are you being so good to me? Or why are you so good to me? Because I'm worried about you and I care about you. I want you to feel better. Dream. Stay outside. Let time pass. What about dream? I had a weird dream. Oh, what? It was about you, actually. It was kind of haunting. Oh my god, I need to hear this. You was in a snowstorm? And I called for you, but you didn't hear me. And I lost you. Huh? What does that mean? I have no idea, but it stuck with me. Oh, I hope you're okay. I hope you're okay too, May. It's just a dream. Here, if you're still scared by di here, if you're still scared by a bedtime, I'll tell you a bedtime story, okay? Oh yeah, bedtime stories. What do you dream? Stare outside, let time pass. I'm trying to get everything. I'm trying to get all the information. What are your dreams like? What are your dreams like? Oh, disturbing. Someone always dies. Like my most recent one. It featured you actually. Oh my god. In a bad in a bad or good way? Good. Go on. 
<laughs> there was a massive epidemic. It was going to wipe out the world. I got infected. I was going to die. Then you discovered the cure and I was saved. What is this, Last of Us? Wow, that's scary. I always knew I was going to save the world. Yeah. Dream you always saved me. Let time pass. Let time pass. You talk more about everything and nothing. From TV shows and memes to our worst fears and biggest desires. Before we knew it, evening dawned. I gotta go. I have to, I have to work. Yeah, good luck. I'm always down to hang out again. Yay, thank you for listening to me. It really means a lot. Although I also had work, I didn't regret talking with May one bit. Hmm. That's nice. But I'm also concerned about when I offer to help May. Because I don't want my character to put aside her feelings for another person. Even though it might sound selfish. But I don't want her to do something that she doesn't want to do just for the sake of others. You know what I mean? Like, I just want her to also live her best life as well. Not just for one person. I mean, some people might also think differently. But that's how I kind of think right now in this moment. I mean, she, she's a good friend to willing to... Put aside her hobbies and dreams just to help out a friend. I mean, <laughs> you could barely meet friends like that these days. But I think I'm kind of on the fence about that decision I made. But are we going to get back to work or something? Her door's still open. Maid's door is open. I wonder where she is. Oh, God. Okay, so she's not in there. I'm just going to probably just talk about the same thing. Is she, is she in my bathroom? You my bathroom girl. <laughs> oh my god. I opened the door to my roommate May. Oh, I can't speak. I opened the door to my roommate May. He didn't seem to hear or see me. Look at her face in the mirror. Oh my god. Hey, are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? I... I'll go. Are you really okay? I'm not gonna leave her. Are you really okay? You don't look okay. You don't look okay. I, I need to go. Hug. Hug her. Wait, don't go. Can I hug you? She nodded silently. I hugged her. I want to say something yet didn't want to break the silence. After a pause, she spoke. Thank you. Ugh, I guess I'm not okay. I just say I'm okay because it's a gut reaction. I don't really feel okay, but I don't want to bother anyone. Especially you. You're so kind. I made soothing motions on her back. Why are you sad? I don't know. I... I don't really want to talk right now. That's okay, I'm here for you. I'm not, a I'm not a professional or anything, but when you need to talk, I'll always listen. Thank you again. Is there anything I can do? Hug. Just hug. It's been months since that day. May and I have gotten closer. I even consider her a best friend. In dark moments, we held each other's hands. Although I supported her, I didn't want to feel responsible for her. Didn't want her to be dependent on me. So we drove, e so we drove to every therapist in town until we found the one she liked. One night, May hugged me by surprise. May, thank you. Me? For what? I uh don't know how to say this without seeming emotionally constipated. Thanks for caring about me, for listening to me. I couldn't tell you before because I was sad, but I appreciate, but I appreciate you, really. Oh, anytime. Thank you too for being my friend. You teach me to be more kind. Oh my God, not you. Wait. Oh my God, now you. Wait. Oh my God, no you. No you. Uno reverse card. <laughs> Later that night, she gave me a note, both haunting and touching. It read, I was buried in the blizzard. The snow pelted, powerful and unpredictable, never ending. 
I weakly cried for help and no one came. My voice lost in the snow. But you saw my messages. You grabbed a shovel and helped and I couldn't and I could finally open my door. The end. Hope. There's something to look forward to. After all, thank you for playing. <sighs> that was really touching and you just moments like this where you just need to talk to somebody, right? Especially what's going on right now in the real world right now. Everything is just going haywire. Everybody's on edge. And it's just, right now, everybody just needs a friend, family member, somebody to just hug and let them know, like, I'm there for you. Especially during times like this. And it doesn't matter if you're young or old. It don't matter what you are or how, whatever you want to be. Just be kind to everyone. It's a difficult, hard, cruel world we live in right now, and it's just... But I do hope that there will be change, and hopefully people will start taking mental health more seriously. Because it needs to be talked about, not just swept under the rug, ignored, brushed off. Never, 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 ever ignore mental health issues with anybody. It doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are, what race you are, it doesn't matter. Mental health is in everybody. Everybody goes through it, whether it's anxiety... Depression, doesn't matter. Everybody goes through something in life. But that's it for now, I think. I managed to get, what is this, two out of four, I think? Maybe three out of four? I'm not sure, but I think we got somewhat of a decent good ending. I don't know what the other two endings are, but and I didn't know, like, her mom was that harsh on her child. Well, she should be worried about her child's mental health, calling in, checking to see how she's doing, hopefully she's okay. None of that. She was just talking down on her on the phone. Just calling her lazy, I think. Just, it's ridiculous. And there are parents out there like that these days, especially. That's it for this channel, guys. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow all my social media links down below. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.